All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just cooling out here. Just, I was just thinking, and I think I'm going to call this video uh, Who Can You Trust? Because it's difficult as a TI to know um, who you can trust. I've heard of some TIs, even the family, have been involved in the harassment. I mean, I, I don't think that's the case with me, but you've got to keep an open mind as a TI to what could be happening behind the scenes because obviously you don't know half the time but yeah I just thought I would um, list some of the things they've been doing to me this week because a lot of the things have changed um, it's been a lot more psychological compared to noise and verbal lately um, they've not done the siren thing so much I think it's probably because I've been um, recording it a lot and putting it up on the internet and it's probably worrying them about the publicity it's going to get or you know it's probably they don't want it anyway but yeah um, they've changed and they started utilizing uh, quite a few new tactics on me and or using a lot more of the old psychological ones they've used on me a lot more than they did before well firstly the I've noticed something that keeps happening and it's been going on for about the last two weeks or so and every single time I uh, leave my flat nearly um, it's probably about you know every three out of four times sometimes I leave my flat um, my neighbour will come out or they'll come out just after I leave the flat it's like they almost know exactly when I leave the flat and it's starting to make me think it's beyond uh, coincidence when it is happening so often. So I came out of the flat this morning, neighbour pulls up in the car as soon as I leave the flat. And um, as soon as I uh, left my uh, flat to get some food for lunch, uh, they, they left the flat pretty much 20 seconds after I left. And um, yeah... But yeah, that that's that keeps happening a lot more than it did. Uh, other things they've been doing is uh, sending taxis everywhere I go. Sometimes with one headlight. Uh, I caught one with one headlight the other day, and that this is because I got a taxi twice in the other week, and it's like their way of saying yes, the taxis are involved. We know you got a taxi. They even uh, cut off the phone call to the taxi. Uh, the first time I tried ringing for a taxi, the phone call just uh, went dead. So they, they shut off the phone call, you know, to stop me getting a taxi or to make me think that, you know, they don't uh, want me to have a taxi. But I'm on to the. I'm running out of time. Well, I've got enough time, but I've got 10 minutes and I, I, I need to use up this time because my phone ain't got much uh, space. But yeah. The psychological things have been increasing a lot. Um, they've uh, increased the guys with sunglasses with one hand in the pocket a lot. I see that all the time, pretty much. Nearly wherever I go, there's guys with one hand. I mean, sometimes it may be, you know, a normal guy with one hand in the pocket, but they've sensitised me to it. Um, all other things they've been doing that are psychological is uh, getting people to give me dirty glances all the time. This is a psychological um, attack to make you feel like there's something wrong with you, or you know you're a bad person. It's to it's to make you second guess: Am I doing the right thing? Basically, I think that's what this is about. But yeah, it's psychological warfare. It's all that shit. Um, but yeah, well, the main purpose is just, to, um, like I said, uh, if you're getting a lot of dirty looks off people on the street or angry looks, it's it's to make you feel intimidated or and or to make you feel like you're a bad person or there's something wrong with you. You know, so you think, why is this person looking at me like that? Am I doing something wrong? I must be. You know, it's it's a subliminal way of making you think you're a bad person. That's why I believe it is, anyway. Um, but yeah, they've been doing that. Uh, 
all the things that they've been doing. Does that mean? Oh yeah. Every single time I go to this shop on my street, and this never happened before, but every single time I go to this shop, uh, people are stacking the shelves. Always stacking the shelves. Nine times out of ten, stacking the shelves. Doesn't matter what time I go, always uh, stacking the shelves. So it's like, it's like they tell them I'm coming or something and then they start doing it and stacking the shelves. But it's eerie, it's like every time I go to the shop, the shelves are being stacked and it's to obstruct me and to make my uh, shopping more difficult because obviously with people stacking the shelves, you can't easily get past them or the stacking on the shelf you want to get your food from. Stuff like that, really. But yeah, that, that keeps happening. And another thing that happened today, this guy, um, I've long suspected he's a perp. I've not been able to get a video of him because I don't want to be recording out of my flat and getting in trouble here. Well, I don't give a fuck, but you know what I mean? Try to avoid it. But yeah, he, he keeps uh, making as much noise as he can with power tools. Like, And he'll always linger outside my flat with him. He's got a garage underneath near where I live but yeah he's he's often showing his ass off and you know builders bum shit like just showing his you know all the time so I've seen with uh, a few uh, namely nappy head roots channel but this happens to him a lot where um, guys are uh, got the buttocks exposed on a camera and just you know, just showing it and doing all that. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think that's part of it. But yeah, this guy, I go to the shop. I went, so this morning I went to post an item that I sold on eBay. I had endless problems with that, which I believe could be due to them. I never received uh, the PayPal, even though the person sent it multiple times. I had to make a new PayPal account. And I know they've been fucking a lot with my uh, computer. Uh, especially when I'm trying to listen to stuff about uh, gang stalking. They'll uh, deliberately make the connection time out and, you know, so I can't watch it. This happens, uh, um, I mean, I was at my mum's house the other day. I was trying to watch a video and it happened there. And I, I was uh, trying to watch a video yesterday. So, well, not a video, a sound file, and it timed out there as well. So they keep doing that. But yeah, back on this guy. Um, four times today, I went to post a letter. He was there. Uh, I went back to get, I needed to get something else. Sorry, not a letter, but a parcel. I went, I needed to go back to get something else. When I went back, he was there. Right. Then... I went for a walk and he was there. Then again, when I just I've just been to the shop and he, on the way back he pulled up in a car and he was there. It's it's just stuff like that. I, I keep seeing this guy everywhere I go and well not everywhere I go only in this area but every time I go out this uh, guy is there. Always nearly today anyway. Yeah, I keep seeing this person. I had similar things, I think I mentioned it, where I uh, lived before this place. There was this person that always was where I would walk. He always showed up wherever I walked and it was eerie. It was like I'd be getting home and he'd be there. I'd be walking around where I lived and he'd be there. I'd be going out with my uh, parents. This has been going on since I was a teenager this person would be around there. I'd be going out and he'd be there. I'd get home from uh, secondary school and he'd be waiting outside, stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's just eerie how he always appeared wherever I went. But yeah, um, that's uh, what they've been doing. I'm running out of time now. Um, 
But yeah, I, th I think I've explained everything I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, that's it pretty much. I had some directed conversation yesterday, which I recorded some, some of it. Well, the people that did it, they weren't doing it then, but, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, they keep, it's more psychological attacks lately. It's uh, just, like I said, dirty looks and hand in pocket and sunglasses and all that shit. It's, it's 